Hey friends, how are you all doing today? I need to paint some more of the little flower paintings I've been doing lately, and I thought you might want to tag along. So let's have some fun. Okay, I've got two canvas panels from Michaels. They're five by seven inch. I'm gonna paint two at a time. Gotta get the word love on there. This is a chalk pastel from Blick Art Materials. Oh, dickblick.com. It's kind of a lime green, I just grabbed it. <laughs> Plus I'm gonna, I don't know, I, I want a bright one. I'm thinking uh, cone flowers, which I love, and daisies, which I love. I've got here, we'll do my colors. So cad yellow, oh you can't see it. Let's get rid of one of these. I'm doing a little scoochy scoochy. Okay, so I'm thinking cad yellow, medium hue. Um, I go through a lot of yellow, so I've been buying it in the basics lately and I like, I really like it. I really, I, I can tell the difference between the basics and the heavy body because this is heavier and thicker. But man, the pigmentation in the basics is wonderful. So, I mean, get what you can afford. Get whatever brand you like, of course. Um, let's see, titanium white. I also buy titanium white in the heavy body because sometimes it's just nice to have a thicker, thicker paint. Um, bright aqua green. I want to lean more towards that. A lot of times I, I, I see, if you've seen my other videos, I'll make a pretty kind of aqua sky with the cerulean blue hue, so with these two colors, but I'm gonna try and lean a little more towards the aqua for fun. And then I just put out burnt umber. A lot of times I mix a brown, I'll make an orange with some quinacridone. So quinacridone and the yellow make an orange and then just add some black or just some other colors on my palette and see if I can get a brown. I'm gonna use burnt umber today. So I'm gonna mix I don't know, I'm gonna do two, so I'm gonna need a bit. And even if you put too much paint out, the puddles help your paint stay wet longer. Um, it does, you could, you could argue that it wastes it, but your paints will stay moist on your palette longer, especially like I'm just using a styrofoam plate if you have a little bit bigger puddles. But I'm thinking I'm just gonna go barely Barely blue here, and I don't know if you can even see the difference on video. Oops, I stuck my palette knife down in there. Maybe a smidge, I didn't give myself much room to mix. Okay, I'm gonna paint the backgrounds in time lapse, and I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Hey, just a couple thoughts. So I'm using, oh, I can never read these. <laughs> a three quarter inch, which is also a 19 millimeter Royal and Lang nickel. It's their Zen line. It also has Z9 3W on it. Um, it's a really nice brush. And I'm just using it for putting the background color on and then putting a few grasses on. And first I put some dirt down, which I think is kind of fun. Um, even if I lose it, I can put some dirt back in. And I'm gonna paint, let this dry. Well, hang on a second. I think first what I was trying to decide is, is it too dark, is it too light? It's definitely dark enough to put white daisies on. You can see white. Um, and I'm wondering if it's too dark for pink cone flowers. But it might, it might work out just fine. So I think we'll leave it and I'll paint the other background and I'll be back in a bit. Hey. 
Hey, I just wanted to show you something. So same palette, same colors. I haven't changed anything. But look what happens with the same artist, same time of day, back to back, painting backgrounds. They're a little different, which is good. That's what makes art original. I kind of like that this has some glow back here. Um, I might lose it. Sometimes you paint over things and you lose things. But I kind of like that better, maybe. I might like this sky better. I'm not totally sure. But we'll work on this one. So this is the start. We'll do this one as the start to finish. But I just thought I'd show you how, you know, things just turn out differently. Even when you're painting them right in a row. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. you'd like to see me paint one one of the petals in real time so I have quinacridone magenta I mixed it with a cerulean blue and got a really pretty purple um, it would I'm hesitating because it depends on the brand you use and stuff but for me it was more quinacridone magenta than blue but you can play with it and get whatever purple you like okay so I'm just cleaning up my brush a little bit I'm gonna grab a little white and I don't know that I want it mixed all that well. I mean, if it's mixed, it's fine. If it's not, okay. Let's put, so I'm gonna put the corner down, push, and then just lift up. And I'm not even gonna connect it. And if you want that bigger, just kind of draw it and do it again. And I connected some up here. I can come back and, and uh, put in Grab a little burnt ember. If I wanted to find where that connects a little bit better, I can just kind of play with that. And then you don't have to connect them too. It's kind of like stems, you don't have to connect them all. I didn't connect that one. And then I'm gonna probably put more layers on it, but I'm thinking my son's over here. Favorite daughter, Emily, who helps me with the live, made that son. <laughs> Isn't that cute? She made another one too got two of them so she just drew it with color pencil a little sharpie marker and then took clear packing tape to sort of like cheap lamination <laughs> she's so clever okay enough about that so my lights coming from over here so I think we'll have this one be pink too so I just set it down and then I just lift it up and I actually kind of like that it's pretty practice on Canvas board is really cheap. Uh, practice on mixed media paper. It'll drag a little more, but you could paint, like paint a background on the paper to help it slide a little better. And I'm thinking I'll have a B right there. Let's just connect one a little higher. Pull it down. But I kind of like knowing where my other flowers are gonna be. So that's why I drew a couple on here. Let's go a little darker. We want to space. Sometimes I'm trying, like, I would turn it, but I also want to keep it on uh, video for you guys. So it's straight up. I think it's easier for you guys to see. I don't know what I want to do. I'll just put it down and see what happens. Oh, nothing happened. <laughs> so I'll grab a little white, a little pink. A little purple, so I'm just kind of getting stuff on my brush. Oh, that's kind of pretty. A little purple. Let's see, let's not connect this one. You could do this with a filbert too, you don't have to do it with a flat brush. Sometimes I get it in one stroke, sometimes I don't. Maybe I need a little, just a 
pinch of water. For some reason, I want to. There we go. I want to point on that one. Not funny. I don't know why. I am trying to think random. I don't know. I might. I want to turn it. That one was easier. I should have videoed that one. Or maybe it was just easier because it wasn't chatting. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I might end up connecting the one next to it. I think I want a fat one. I actually think it's going to start purple and go lighter, but we can just add the lighter on the next layer. Oh, that's kind of fun. All right, I think we'll call that good. So hopefully that helps a little bit. You could go back with a smaller brush and touch up like, so I'm touching it up because I'm getting like little places where the background's popping through. Or you could not worry about it because that's not actually doing anything. So I hope that helps. Well here, maybe actually, maybe we should do a daisy too in real time. Cleaning out my brush. Oh, this is it's a half inch craft brush from Craft Smart. I got it at Michael's. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a little paint. Just because I just for some reason I don't want that to show. I'll end up putting a couple of layers on these and then also build up my center some more. So what I'm thinking I want to do is take a little blue, actually I'm going to take some of this dirty white, kind of clean up my white a little bit. There's some. We could take any of these blues um, I might take the blue just so it's a little different. So I've got a lot of aquamarine back here. So maybe we'll just take a little of the straight up blue. I don't want to go straight white just yet so I can control where the sun's shining in my highlights. And this might not be dark enough, but it'll be... Um, actually, I'm going to make it a little darker. Oh, I hope that's on in frame. I start painting and I don't pay attention to my my masking tape marks like an actor that walks up to the X on the floor kind of thing. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. Okay, I think that'll be dark enough. I can always make it darker. I just want to get some petals down. Okay. So with this one, I want to, I think I want to Pretty much the same deal. Oh, I kind of want one. I like the little ones that stick out. <laughs> and then we can merge them together. We can go a little darker blue over here. Maybe I want this one a little darker. Oh, it's, it's almost the same value as my background. That's okay. a little braver. So sort of touch, push, lift. But you can always fix. My paint must be a little wet. It's really sliding. There, I like that better. That's a good start. Maybe grab some straight up blue. I don't 
don't know that I'm helping. I think I need to let dry it. It's, it seems pretty slippery and slidey where this one wasn't. Um, I think I've got some more water. I had more water in my brush. Maybe I just cleaned it out. That might be what was going on. So I'm grab a little white in my blue, which didn't change it at all. Let's see. So this one will say it's a little rounder and in the light. And I think like this would be in the light. I was using the corner of my brush. I can darken those up too. I'm gonna grab a little water. Only because I'm getting a little dry brush effect. Let me see it's closer to. Um, there's nothing wrong with a little dry brush effect. I just don't know if I want it. And that's not changing a darn thing. That happens too. So short, and then maybe a little off here. I'm gonna grab some water again. I'm just getting kind of, sometimes you get too much water, sometimes you don't have enough. Kind of off to the side, but not too long. Maybe we'll have a gap. Maybe have a skinny one. Kind of want a bluer one. You can come back and put the bluer ones in later. That's more blue than I wanted. And I feel like my, hopefully my hair wasn't in the way there. I am really close to my phone. Okay, let's get shorter. We're getting kind of long and rounder. How do I know? So I'm thinking like, like if you take a picture of a fried egg from the side a little bit, it's gonna be longer on the ends and depending on the angle, shorter on the top and bottom. You can also get a reference photo. Of different, like a daisy field and see what they look like. Okay, I like that. Grab a little blue. I'll connect that guy. That's probably way too dark, but we'll just do it. Really, oops. You could do this with a smaller brush if you want. So I'm just kind of making it a little bit random how they connect. Some higher, some lower. And then a lot of these, I'll um, I might grab like some white and have it catch in the sun out here. And then just play with values and layers as I go. I think I just kind of want to let it dry. So hopefully that helps. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit.
Hey, so I'm pretty close to done. Um, I decided I wanted the background lighter. I should see how this one is. Oh, that one is a little lighter here, kind of matches. So I'm probably gonna lighten this up a little bit. I want to paint the second one, but I also kind of like that I just took the a quarter inch flat brush. Oh, look at how much paint I have on my hands. And just was adding some sweepies. It adds kind of a neat texture to it. And then I even went over. So I just took a little bit of the straight up aqua, bright aqua green. Yep, bright aqua green. And some white. Oh, my brush is dirty. Starting to run out of paint puddles to mix with there, or spots to mix. But I've got, I was hoping to get this done today and I don't think I'm going to, which is all right. Sometimes paintings, I mean, I, you can tell I want to get it done today. I want to get the video done. I want to get the video to favorite daughter. She has all the fun graphics. Um, but I like, that I'm just kind of doing this. Let's see, where here, let's put another swipe so quite a bit of water and then I also blend it out with my finger I can keep kind of lightening things up B is gonna go there anyway I like that it's kind of fun it's pretty I'm not totally sure if I like the daisies how blue they are I might want to Lighten them, lighten those up a little bit more. So it just basically needs me to play with it some. It's starting to look good, it's starting to look yummy. Oh, and I mixed kind of a neat brown wine color with brown and the purple. Okay guys, I just wanted to pop in with what I was thinking. I darkened this up down here some more to help make other things look lighter. And I put out a little black so I could go darker. And then I might even want to put some of the orange back in. I keep wanting to play with it, but I really need to go. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of that's kind of yummy. I like that. Of course, it's going to dry darker, so we'll see how that dries. See, the bee goes there. Okay, I will video some more and be back in a bit. friends it's the next day and I that last little time lapse a bit I added some orange over the sun side of the petals and I on the um is that echinacea cone flowers I like that a lot better and I wanted to see what you think and then I thought oh when I did the dancing daisies uh, video I had browns instead of the blues for the shadows and I think I like that better too it kind of warms things up let me know what you think. Let's get a close look and then I'll turn it for a screenshot. So if you want to let me know in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. If you like liked it a little bit before in this video, or you like it that I warmed up the petals. And I really didn't warm it. Well, I warmed this one up quite a bit, I think. I didn't warm that one up too much. I think I might want to pull out the green a little bit more. All right, here's a screenshot. So now I'm kind of playing with values and a lot of times, even though I wanted to get this done yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, it's early morning. <laughs> um, it's better that I stepped away from it, had a good night's sleep. You know, I think that's better. So sometimes I forget too, like generally you can, I mean, there are rules of thumb and art and you can always break them, but sun side, warmer colors, shadow side, cooler colors. I had the values, but the pink is cooler than the oranges. I just think it helps. So let me know what you think in the comment. I'm gonna play with this a little more. Oh, and we've gotta do the bees. So I'll be back in a bit.
Hey friends, I'm done. And I just um, have a few things I want to say. Let's see if I can collect my thoughts. So I've never painted this, this before. I've never painted quite, I've painted these flowers before, but I've not had the aqua background. I'm really liking like the oranges, the hints of oranges down here. I think that looks really yummy. Some kind of purpley pinks. Oh here, maybe you want to see the bees. We'll start, start with a little tour. So I, the bees were like pill shape or um, oval shape, bean shape. And then I kind of made the middles a little fatter, had them come over the black areas. And like I warmed up a little bit, some of the little dots and spots sometimes. Sometimes I didn't, I like that one cool. Just kind of play with things. You know, it goes a little darker as it comes behind. And I pulled this petal over and it actually goes a little warmer and then it goes a little darker. Um, that's some things that can kind of be fun. A little warmer right there. Here's the other bee. I really like the colors. And then I decided maybe, so I liked it before I warmed up the sky. Um, and then I just took water and smeared it out with my fingers. And um, I've got something in my eyes. Sorry guys, that's why I keep saying um. And then I thought, well, sh would it unify it more? Would I like it better with a yellow? And then I was scared to do it. Um, I've had some people like you don't, uh, not very many, but just say, oh, I can't watch this. You don't know where you're going. Well, if it's the first time I painted, painted it, I don't know where I'm going. And I'm still gonna change it anyway. Every painting's a little different. And then I didn't like how strong the yellow was. So then I mixed a little lighter, uh, bright aqua green and white, and then knocked that back down. And it does go a little green, but I think I like it. I think, and then I did do my sky um, opposite of what I normally do. Usually I say your stronger colors, because like when you go outside and you look across the landscape, it's usually light and grayer down here, and then you get more color up here. I did it in the reverse, but it's not like you have to follow the rules every time. So I'm really interested to see what you think. I love how happy, bright, and cheery this is. Here, maybe you want to do a, a screenshot. I never can totally get it straight. I can't, I'm looking on my tippy toes down at the top of my phone. <laughs> I hope you try this one. Have fun with it. You know, keep painting um, cone flowers and daisies or whatever flowers you like. You'll keep discovering, like I ended up liking the brown better than the blues, but the brown and the blue is nice. You know, it works together. Okay, I think that's enough art tips. Thank you, thank you for tagging along with me. That's so fun for me. I hope you try this one. Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.